Hello. A short video about the most amazing ad hoc reporting tool I've ever seen. I've combined the power of Power BI and a new custom visual for it put out by Cradec Incorporated that allows you to create control charts. The visual is amazing. It's sitting on top of about 12 million rows of data. But if I add in the calendar month for my X dimension, and the sales amount for my sales, I get an instant XMR chart. An XMR chart is designed to, to look at the data that happens over a series of time and be able to distinguish between the random fluctuation of that data inside of its normal limits and changes in the data that represent re signals of real change. In this case, this X, this red box at the top, which is put in by the chart control, tells us seventh month of 2008, there was some sort of meaningful change in the sales data for Contoso. And down here, we have a signal coming from a month that was below the lower normal boundary. And the second kind of signal that can be sent is a run of months, either in the lower section or in the top section. And here we have a run of two months in the lower section. So already, I have a really good idea about what parts of my Contoso data I should go look and create other visuals for in order to try and understand what was going on. Mind you, I haven't done preparatory work on my data model except to see that it had the proper relationships. And I've created all these slicers just by dragging the field onto the slicer and the control and turning it into a slicer. Because they're all related to fact sales, they all work. So now we're looking at a chart that tells us that for a datum, sales were normal over this period of time. And for Contoso, on the other hand, has shows both the high and the low point. So if we were going to go look and see what happened, we would probably look at Contoso data. And here we can see that Fabricon also shows a, a run in the low part of the graph and a run in the high part of the graph. Liftware seems to have sales that are not really in control. And Northwind Traders also has issues. Proswear, on the other hand, shows normal variation. And so does Southridge Videos. Tailspin Toys shares the same high and low, but the phone company's sales seem to be normal. I can look at my sales by category. Notice I'm getting sub-second responses from the control. So audio seems to be a strong participant in the high as we noticed. On the other hand, camera has some abnormal data, but not in the same places. 
Cell phone sales were normal. Computer sales shared in the low, but not in the high. Games and toys seem to follow the pot pattern, as do home appliances. Music, movies, and audiobooks had normal variation. TV and video seemed to map right onto the pattern we're interested in. If we look at subcategories, we can see that the ones that have data, some of them don't share in the signal variation like camcorders or board games. Cameras seem to be in normal ranges as do car videos, as do cell phones, as do coffee machines. On the other hand, computers and accessories share the low and they almost share the high. Desktops seem normal, digital cameras seem normal, digital SLRs seem normal, and download games share the pattern that interests us. So, if you have a lot of data, and you're trying to look and see when significant things happen, when patterns happen that you should go explore and build more reports to show more details on, this seems to be a way to very quickly look over huge amounts of data. And building it takes a really minimal amount of effort. I wrote no DAX measures to build this report. I just loaded the tables, loaded the controls, dragged some fields on to create my slicers, and I was in business. I'm fantastically impressed with this and hope to produce more videos on using it I have some more practical real-world examples. Thank you.